Today we're gonna test the Godox we want. Let's do it. All right, so how we ended up here in this warehouse requires a little bit of context. I was walking in the streets of Mexico City with two of my friends after the sun had set because we wanted to test the new Godox V1 flash and how it performs at night. Our initial plan was just to do some portraits outside, but then we saw this drag queen uh, getting led into what looked like an old warehouse. And we were curious about what was in there, so we knocked on the door and this is where we ended up. When we got in, they were setting up for this commercial shoot around Pride and they were cool with us crashing their set and playing around with the flash. The guy you see standing in the smoke is my good friend Edgar and the music you're listening to is from his new album. And I put a link to his Spotify in the description if you're into some ambient tunes. And I have Wesley here taking the pictures while I'm doing the documentation for you guys. So Wesley is shooting with the Fuji X100F with the Godox X Pro trigger in the hot shoe that makes it possible for him to hold the Godox V1 in his hand and kind of direct the light instead of having it on camera. And while we're at it, let's talk about the speed light. So the Godox V1 supports high speed sync up to 1 8000th of a second. We're using the Fuji version, but there's also a Godox V1 flash for Nikon, Canon, Sony and Olympus. And it works on camera for these five brands. At the end of the video, I'll show how I use the flash on camera and give you some close-ups of the flash itself and the accessories that you can attach to it. The Godox V1 can shoot 650 full power flashes per charge, which is nice. And it has a full power recycle time of less than 1.5 seconds, which is pretty fast. During this shoot, we used TTL and not manual. So we noticed after a lot of consecutive flashes in a row, the recycle time increased by a couple of seconds. But that's maybe because the flash tried to prevent itself from overheating, I guess. <laughs> and we could probably have avoided that by using less power per flash. It, it does take time to recharge again after a while. Yeah. I'm in downtown Mexico City and for the remaining part of this video I will use the flash with a diffuser mounted on camera with my Fujifilm X-T3. Just to see how it will look pointing it directly at my subject but with a diffuser. 
It's a bit silly that I didn't experiment with bouncing the flash off of any surfaces, but that'll be for another video. And by the way, I'm by no means any expert in flash photography at all, so take these results with a grain of salt. But the reason I got excited about this flash in the first place is because of the opportunities that I think it would open up for me. I usually do all my street photography and my portraits alone and with this setup I can take my pictures, I can film the video that you guys are seeing right now with my GoPro and I can have a strong press available either on camera or in my hand. And before I got the Godox V1 I was really considering the Profoto A1 which is Profoto's round head flash. But for some reason that I'm not sure of, Profo never made it possible for Fuji photographers to mount their flash on camera and the Profoto is also I think 3 to 4 times more expensive than the Godox. Amigo, ¿puedo tomar tu foto? ¿Está bien? Muchas gracias. Y un poquito, una más, dos segundos. <ríe> Listo. Alright, let's take a closer look at the Godox V1. This is the design and the flash comes in at a weight at 534 grams and hey dog, ah, ah my neighbor's, my neighbor's dog had a puppy. <laughs> Damn it, that, it looks like a dinosaur. This kind of dog is called a Sholo and it's this unique hairless Mexican breed. What are you doing? <laughs> anyway, oh here's the mother. So. First thing I like about this flash is the 33 degrees spin that it can do, but also the fact that it can tilt 120 degrees, so you can easily bounce the flash off of something behind you without you having to rotate the flash all the time. The flash also comes with this built-in modeling lamp that can help you preview how the flash light will fall on your subject before you shoot. In terms of battery, and this may be seem like a small thing, but I really like it. It comes with this rechargeable lithium ion battery. And as I mentioned before, one battery charge gives you around 650 full power flashes. But it's a really nice thing instead of having to fiddle around with AA batteries. Well done, Godox. And the last thing on the list is the accessories. The flash kit with accessories costs like 60 bucks more. So I think it's silly not to include them if you're going to get this flash. And by the way, I put a link in the description so you also can check out the full specs and so on. All of the Godox V1 accessories will stick to your flash magnetically, which is a really nice feature. And it also comes with a four wing reflector so you can kind of shape how the light should fall. And this bounce card so you can bounce the flash even though you are standing outside shooting, for example. And it also comes with these cool, whoop, and it also comes with these cool filters in different colors that you can stack on top of every other accessory that we just mentioned. The accessory kit comes with a dome diffuser and that's the one I use for photographing the breakdancers. Alright, that's it for my first impression or review of the Godox V1. I still need a lot more practice with this flash, but it's cool to shoot with and it's fun. And I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it when there's Pride Week coming up very soon. But I put some links in the description below and thank you to Godox for sending me this one. It's around $300, so yeah, it's up to you whether you think that's worth it or not. And next week, I'm gonna make a really cool video. I'm gonna buy my first film camera with a friend of mine, so make sure to subscribe because it'll be a fun one. What's your first analog? Yeah. It's, it's like the best. It's gonna be the best, yeah.